Welcome to Chris's Storytelling Corner. This is Christopher Moldong of Chris's Storytelling Corner. Today I will read pages 7 to 9 of my short story, The Underachievers. Next time, I will have a manga review for Kobato Volumes 3 and 4, and a list of the top villain pairings in Batman. In a few weeks, I will have a movie review for Batman and Harley Quinn. You can check out my author's website at www.chrismoldong.com. You can buy my first novel, a fantasy adventure called The Monster Prince in the Condiment Kingdom, for $4.99. Also, for $2.99, you can buy my short story collection, a collection of 10 short stories in the horror, fantasy, and realistic fiction genres. This story is in that collection. Follow me on Twitter and retweet my stuff, and check out my author's Facebook page. Links to all these will be provided on the description. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and comment to this channel if you're on YouTube. Or follow, share, and comment on this channel if you're listening to this on SoundCloud. If you're listening to this on iTunes or Stitcher, please rate, review, and share this channel. So, we're just going to pick up where we left off with the underachievers. So, uh, let's get right to it. I know a guy in my class who is thinking about owning a business. Maybe I'll join him. Maybe I'll start writing or something. I got a couple ideas here and there, you know, I just want, I just don't want to be that guy who didn't even try. Ross's voice grows noticeably more irritated. I don't know where this stuff is all coming from. I mean, what if that business thing doesn't work out? Then what? You know what you should do? You should do what I'm planning to do and work two jobs and make a boatload of cash. This economy sucks. And you know it, and it's not like I'm going to be a doctor or something. Are you unhappy or something? Dude, what? I'm totally happy. What reason do I have to be unhappy? No reason, just forget it. With the rest of the car ride in silence, they eventually reach their destination. However, the restaurant's parking lot hardly fits any cars, and all the parking spaces are taken. They drive around until they find parking in a residential neighborhood where the road barely fits two cars side by side. Walking ten minutes to the restaurant, they get inside only to be on the waiting list. After a 45 minute wait, they are seated in an upstairs room. Ross comments on how the restaurant does not carry rice paper and immediately notes it on his phone for when he reviews the place on Yelp. Vincent waits with chopsticks while Ross waits with fork in hand as they watch the meat cooking on the small grill. You know, since we go to a lot of Asian places, you might want to learn how to use chopsticks, Vincent tells him. With a bit of annoyance in his voice, Ross replies, it's enough that I even eat at places like this. Most people wouldn't even try to eat at Asian places, and I do it all the time. So what if I don't use chopsticks? I'm still eating the food, and it takes more work anyways to use those things. Dude, I just made a comment about chopsticks. You don't have to go off on me on that. Whatever, dude, let's just eat. The two eat the food without talking to each other. With the traffic cleared up that night, they quickly and quietly make it back home. Once Vincent parks the car in front of Ross's house, he tells him in a serious tone, I don't think I can do this with you anymore. I have a lot going on, and quite honestly, you are kind of bringing me down. Ross says in a solemn voice, Well, if that's how you feel, then good luck in life. Ross gets out of the car, and Vincent drives away before he even reaches the front door. On the car ride home, Vincent breathes a sigh of relief as he remembers some of the more idiotic things that his former friend has said. The two go about their lives without each other in them. One day alone with his laptop at a local coffee shop, Ross decides to look at the class schedule for the next semester of college. 
after sitting around for a while and looking at the different stores and people walking around, he looks for j various jobs online. On that same day, Vincent sits alone in front of his computer while on Facebook. He writes, In a few days, I'll be a college graduate. With all this studying and schooling, I've gained so much knowledge. But do we ever stop learning? I mean, there's so much out there, right? How can I be anything but a student in the class of life? His post gets zero likes, so he gives one to himself. Tired of the consistently long rants on Facebook, some of his friends block his post. With Vincent having free time, he generally stays home alone and lounges about or works for his parents. The day before his graduation, he receives a sudden phone call from Ross. Hey man, Ross tells him. Uh, what's going on? Vincent asks surprised. Uh, you know, how everything went down didn't, like, sit well with me. I mean, I was being stupid, and I'm just going to apologize. You're, like, graduating, and it'd be, and it'd suck if I miss that. Thanks, man. Yeah, dude. The big day's tomorrow. Uh, you can come, and we're going to have a potluck at my house afterwards. Sounds good, man. Vincent graduates and gets accepted to law school. However, he cannot keep up with the constant studying and long nights. His Facebook rants blame technology, the education system, or any number of things to explain his own shortcomings. He takes the baby bar but does not pass, so he drops out of law school. Starting over to pursue a business major, his student loan debt reaches six figures. After receiving his bachelor's degree for business, he accepts an entry-level desk job at a Fortune 500 company that barely pays his bills. He moves out of his parents' house and rents a room in a house owned by a senior citizen. Glad to be free from his parents and not having to work for them, he spends his free time driving for Uber to make some extra money. Ross advances to a shift manager position at the pizza place. He still lives at his parents' house, and they generally let him do whatever he wants. He does, however, enroll back into college, even though it's just one or two classes a semester. That's all for today. If you like this, don't forget to subscribe, share, and comment to this channel if you're on YouTube, or follow, share, and comment on this channel if you're listening to this on SoundCloud. If you're listening to this on iTunes or Stitcher, please rate, review, and share this channel. Thank you for listening to these readings. Next time, I will have a manga review for Kobato Volumes 3 and 4, a list for the top villain pairings in Batman, and in a few weeks, a movie review for Batman and Harley Quinn. Thank you, and until next time.